morning, good afternoon, wherever you're from. J. Rowe here, host. Big Hair Hits every Monday, 8 to 10 p.m. AlleghenyMountainRadio.org with another board game review. Just picked this one up in Roanoke last weekend at an antique shop for $6. Pirates on the High Seas. Let's get a little close up on that. Pirates on the High Seas. XXL Adventure Game, a super-sized voyage of fun. And, uh, yeah, the gimmick with this game here is that, yeah, everything's pretty big as far as being a board game. I mean, you see the board on the floor. It's made of, uh, like, a cloth-type whatever. You know, it's not like cloth. It's like polyester. If I wear an eight-and-a-half-size shoe, so let's see how many feet we got here. One, two, three, four, five, and some change. And then we got one, two, three, probably four going the other way. So you're definitely going to be playing this one on the floor. And the gimmick here is that you have two ships, two battleships. You use a spinner to move. And uh, I'll show you that spinner really quick. Da, 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 da. Boop. Use a spinner to move, and uh, now that that's like a tower space. That tower in the middle right there, I can choose to move it in the corners. And the reason you'd want to do that is as the ships get closer to each other, then uh, you can shoot at each other. But if it uh, landed here, that means I can move or pivot my ship twice, and then uh, shoot twice. Uh, move or pivot once, shoot once. And the object is to <laughs> knock the ship apart or get a treasure chest, oh, and get a treasure chest out of the ship or the uh, tower. Because you kind of put it together. It doesn't take anything to put together. But the things that can break, and we'll break off the ship as you're playing, we'll zoom in here, would be... Uh, this little guy right here, you can hit that and it'll come off. You can hit the sail and it'll uh, go crooked backwards there. You can knock the flag off the top. You can knock this uh, lantern out of here. Or you can hit this trap door here and a treasure chest will fall out. So, you start off in your harbors. And uh, let's double check the uh, instructions. Ta -da -ta -ta. Object of the game. Get a treasure chest, hit the sail, the following three tasks. Yep, treasure chest, front sail, and another uh, object off the ship. Okay, very good. Now, do 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 do. So you spin, la di da, and uh, we'll say the blue guy goes first. He can move twice and shoot twice. Okay, so. Such as real pirate ships, you can only shoot when you're like sideways or broadsides with a ship, you know what I mean? So I'm going to use my two moves. I'm just going to go one like that and then pivot like that, too. Just like that. All right. And uh, to that, uh, now that tower is in the way. So what would happen is, uh, let's let the other guy go really quick. All right, he moves two and he shoots two. Okay, so he'll move two, uh, one, two, and you know what? I'm gonna move one. Yeah, we'll just move one two. That's it. Uh, now let's get to the shooting action. Let's pretend I hit the spinner. And it gave me a choice to move the tower. I can move it over there. I can move it over there. The reason you want to move it is so now you can shoot at each other. Now you can't shoot at the tower. And if you hit the door, look what happens. Boom. Come on now. Ooh, it got hit pretty hard. There you go. So if you hit these little doors, the treasure chests fall out, right? So that's the purpose of the tower. Now, da 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 da. Uh, now it did not come with the cannons, so unfortunately. But for six dollars, I thought of a good substitute. Just use these cups and just put a 
square object on there so it doesn't roll off, which would be some dice, right? And then let's pretend it's this guy's turn right here. And he wants to shoot at his enemy over there. So he just hits some dice. Nope, not even close. So let's just see, see if we can break something off. There, oh, I didn't knock it off though. Oh, let's get a little closer. <laughs> there you go, see I knocked the flag off. Now because I knocked the flag off, I get a flag token just to keep track of what I knocked off. Now you can just keep the flag knocked off the ship if you want, but just to make it more fun, you can reassemble the pieces you knock off and uh, just keep track with these, okay? So there you go. I mean, you just sail around, you spin, the spinner, you move, da 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 da, whatever. And you shoot at each other. Let's see if we can get a treasure chest out of the, this other one. Here we go. Now, again, we gotta be on the floor to do this. So kids will be on the floor. La di da. Saw so this on eBay incomplete for sixty dollars, and I couldn't find any videos on YouTube. So this will be the first of its kind. Here we go. Oh, got the flag, at least. Nope. Oh. Ah, I was trying to hit the back. See, when you hit the back. Hit the back. See the treasure chest falls off. You can knock the lantern over. You can knock this thing off the front. Boom. And then that thing knocks that way. So it's easy to set up. Takes up a lot of room, of course. But uh, I don't know. I've never seen this before. So if you find it out for cheap, it'd be pretty fun for the kids, I'm sure. All right. AlleghenyMountainRadio.org. Big pair of hits. Every Monday, 8 to 10 p.m. See you next time. Same bat time, same bat channel.